John and Bum's the name. And when the in 1981, Bum Phillips came riding into New Orleans like a good guy in a white hat, charged with pulling the Saints out of a 1-15 in abyss the year before. I think uh, Dick Nolan at the time uh, gave the players a little more freedom and changed the whole format. And uh, maybe it was uh, just nobody really being able to understand and accept that, what, what that responsibility was. I think there was a lot of personal problems that within the team. Uh, there was some drug usage that uh, eventually came out uh, that, that really uh, was detrimental. Yeah. But uh, then Bum came along, and, you know, everyone likes Bum. Bum can't talk to you without putting his arm around you, and he, he's a nice fella. And he, he told you what he wanted you to do, and if you did it, you stayed. If you didn't, you're gone. We were proud of what we did, you know. We just didn't get the job done like I wanted to, but, but we had some fun trying. Brought to New Orleans after 55 wins and three playoff appearances in six years with the Houston Oilers, Bum cleaned house and started rebuilding, taking George Rogers, the Heisman winner, at the top of what is still the best draft in the team's history. George uh, led the league that year. You know, we just didn't, we didn't quite have it together then, but, uh, but he did a great job. There was a false step in training camp in 1982 when Rodgers failed to finish the mile and a half run. Bum said after he spit a bit of tobacco on the ground, well, when we get the third down in a mile and a half, we just won't use him. <laughs> Bum's best season was an 8-8 eight and eight finish, agonizingly short of the playoffs in 1983, losing to the Rams by two points on the last Sunday of that regular season when Bum refused to put kicker Mort Anderson out there to try one from 52 when he had just beaten Philadelphia in overtime from 50 the week before. We decided we'd rather punt them deep and, and try to hold them. We just did punt them deep. We just didn't hold them. I was visiting a friend of mine the other day, and he reminded me, he said, if you'd have kicked that field goal, you'd have been in the Super Bowl. I said, well, if I'd, if I'd had to do over again, I wouldn't do it. You came here because of John Makem Jr., probably. John, how, how you, your, your relationship today? He was a good man to work for, didn't mess with you. I know I heard a lot of stuff about him. He didn't ever mess with no, you know, yeah. with nothing. He let, let you run the football team. Bum coached through the first NFL strike in 1982. That job action and the replacement players of the strike of 87 will be next week's topic. For Dicka Magazine, I'm Ron Swab.